Hello. Today we are going to show you the overview of the Shermco Model 3, all the settings and overview of what is in your cash drawer so you know the basic parts and basic settings of how to run your machine. Um, this comes in handy in case any part needs to be replaced, you know where it is and which part it is when you call to speak to a technician. First thing you want to do is open your door. This is your cash box here. This is what holds all your money, all the electronic components, everything that runs this machine besides the motors that are on the actual shelves. On this model, this is a locking cash drawer. Uh, the purpose of that is if you want to have somebody fill your machine, this will give them no access to your money, no programming options, so they can't take the money out of the machine. It's a really nice feature if you want someone else to fill your machine and feel safe that they're not going to be able to take your money. So um, the first thing you want to do is open your door like so, unlock it, pull it towards you, and you can see all of your electronic components in here. As you see here, as if you've watched the other videos, this is your coin mech. Here you have your bill validator. This is your control board, which is the top bigger board that has all the lights illuminated on it. It has your menu button right there on the top. The one underneath of it is actually there's three of them and they're all similar. These are your motor control boards for your shelves in your snack chamber. The top one controls the top row of your, tracks, your snack chamber. The one right below that is the second in line which controls your middle one. And the one on the bottom controls the bottom shelf on your snack chamber. These are nice because if anything happens, if a motor jams or anything like that, it tries to protect your boaters, your main board, by faulting out on the smaller board, which is an easier thing to replace if anything ever does occur. They're very simple to replace. As you can see, it's simply four screws and three wires. You will turn off your machine like so, wait for the power to drain out. I always suggest, if you have a camera phone, take a picture of what the layout is of each harness that you're gonna be disconnecting for when you put it back in, you know where everything goes. To remove the wire harness, you literally just hold it, kind of give it a little wiggle so it comes out nice and smoothly. You want to be very careful with your wires. You don't want to pull on those hard because you can rip the wire out of the harness. Um, it can take a little bit of pull, but you don't want to pull on it too hard. Because like I said, you can remove them and it will pull out. And that will become more of a repair than, than what you would be expecting to do. So, this is your power switch. Like I said, your main board, your motor control boards, your coin mech, which holds all your money. As you can see here from the previous video, we had inserted money into it to show how to load it and that how the coin mech works. Your bill validator. Now, to get into your menu, I'm going to turn the machine back on. You can see here there's a red button directly on top of your main control board. This gives you access to your menu. When you push it, you notice that let the machine load up here it's initializing everything's coming up when you say please enjoy a beverage you know that it's fully loaded once you press this button here you'll notice the very fat quick flashing on your display and it goes to sales you can also I'm just going to cancel out here if I hit the cancel button right here put it back into sales mode enjoy a nice beverage this button on the top right corner this would be the filler access, which gives them access to some of the options in your menu, but they're not allowed to get into your coin mech or anything like that. And I will demonstrate that here by going to manage. I will hit enter and right at coin mech, I hit enter and if I press down to unload, you can see right there that it says access denied. And I'm gonna show it one more time and that allows that he can fill money into it, but he cannot take your change out. So you can feel safe that your money is secure. As the side here, you can see your coin chute here. When you insert money into the coin chute, it travels down this track and drops down into your coin mech. You also want to make sure that you keep this clear. Uh, dust can get in there, any type of debris, and it can stop the coins from flowing. So every once in a while you just want to blow air through here and it'll shoot out of the back. 
that's a great thing to keep a can of air with you and you blow off dust and it keeps your machine running nice and smoothly. As you travel down here, your coin mech, directly under that, you will see a square box. This is your overflow box. All, once your coin mech fills all the way up to the top, your overflow will start collecting all the money that is inserted into the machine. Um, the best thing to do is never touch your money inside your coin mech. Always just empty out your overflow box because if you do take the money out of here, there's a chance that someone can come and make purchases. It'll empty out your coin mech and it'll shut off your bill validator and it won't accept any dollar bills. On the machine, this particular model, in this overflow box, there is a screw on the back side right there. You will take a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen that screw, and that will allow you to remove the box. If you don't feel like removing the screw, you can you know, just pull the coins right out right with your hand. You will also see a funnel right under your coin mech. This is the coin return funnel that when you get changed back, it drops into there. You can see it will flow down into the track and drop right into your coin return bucket. And that is located right at the bottom. On this particular machine, you might wonder what this box is here. It says ePort. On this model, you can install a credit card reader, and that's where you would mount the receiving box that controls the credit card reader that is mounted on the front of the machine. I'm going to close this door here. I'm going to show you a little bit about the front. You have your lock, like I showed you earlier. You have your service button, your coin. You have your coin return button to where if you want to get your change back, you press that button. This is your control panel, which you would make all your selections, do all your programming, everything of the sort. As you can see here, this machine, as long as you're in the menu, it will not exit out until you hit this cancel button. You always want to remember to hit this cancel button anytime you are in your menu or else someone will have access to be able to do whatever they want through your machine. They can hit the cancel here, they can scroll through, and they have access to your menu. If you hit the menu button on the inside, that will give them access to your money. So you always want to remember to hit cancel until you see right here, please enjoy a snack or beverage. You always want to make sure that that is showing on your display before you leave your machine. You also want to remember to lock your coin box. You can see here, you just turn the key, pull it out. Make sure that you actually remove the key before you shut your door, because if you leave it in there, there is no space between this box and your door. You will more than likely break the key. So always remember to remove the key out. If you look down here, you have your bill acceptor. You can see the flashing green light showing you that it's active ready to take money, and then right underneath of this, you have your coin return bucket. There is wiring here. This is your display. You can see the wires coming from your display. This is your display controller. If your display goes out, it could possibly be the display or that the controller that controls your display from the signals that are coming from your control board could be out. So this is also something that might have to be replaced if anything was to happen. You can see it's located right underneath the coin return chute and the coin return button. You can see when I'm pushing the coin return button, it's pushing the little lever that I had demonstrated on how to clean and remove coin jams right there. You can see that the whole mechanism pushes that down. We're going to close this up. Please check out the other videos that we have. Um, if you need to, you can email us and we can send you particular videos that you might need. So don't be afraid to give us a call or give us an email if you have any problems. We are here to help you. So give us a call at 1-877-414-5096 or you can email us at shermcovending at gmail.com. So thank you and have a nice day.